Here's your EO Live weather forecast. Hope all of the great Thursday. Gabe Curtis reporting on a September 29th brought to you by Nate Conklin State Farm Insurance. Those highs have topped out into the 60s and 70s for much of us today, although slightly cooler into the mountains holding into the upper 50s. And out the door this afternoon, we've seen that shower activity with a few storms continue up towards the north. But as I anticipated, not much out towards our south. That storm threat ends tonight, but we'll still be left with some scattered showers up towards the north. Otherwise, dry conditions across the remainder of our region, dropping those temperatures into a mix of 30s and 40s for much of us, although slightly warmer in Pendleton, holding into the lower 50s. More clearing expected out towards John Day and Burns will allow for some foggy areas to develop out that way. Heading into the day tomorrow, those highs will top out into the upper 60s to lower 70s across much of the central part of our region, although cooler up towards Meacham into the low to mid 60s, warmer south towards Pendleton and Ontario into the mid 70s. There will still be a few showers left over across the northern blues and Willowas, but that will get out of here during the day tomorrow. The remainder of our region will stay dry as we see increasing sunshine. Heading into the day tomorrow for Legrand, it looks like this will start out into the upper 40s at the 8 o'clock hour under mostly cloudy skies with some areas of drizzle around and beginning with a light westerly wind flow. But during the day, we see those winds gusting up to 25 miles per hour in spots, bringing increasing sunshine. Although we could see a few sprinkles at least possible through early afternoon, we will become dry as we reach highs approaching 70 degrees. Those winds turn to the north and become calm for the evening. Heading into my short-term forecast for the Grand Run Valley, pop back up into the lower 70s on Saturday as we are seeing lots of more sunshine. As we head in my seven day forecast, those overnight lows begin into the upper 30s to lower 40s, but rise into the low to mid 40s next week. As mild conditions develop with highs warming into the upper 70s to lower 80s with lots of sunshine and no rain in sight through next week. This has been Gabe Curtis bringing the most accurate forecast that you can get here in Eastern Oregon. Thank you to the folks down at NACOM from State Farm Insurance for sponsoring this weathercast. And before I go, just as a reminder, tomorrow evening in the six o'clock hour, I will be releasing my winter outlook. See See you tomorrow.